the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Washington Capitals? If you told me, bros, pick two teams to make the Stanley Cup Finals this year, and I said Vegas and Washington, you would literally spit in my face. You would spit all over my face and laugh at me. You would. But here we are. We are ready to preview these two teams who are ready to fight for the Stanley Cup in two crazy storylines. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. At 1,500 subscribers, we are giving away a Lids gift card. Comment down below with your opinions on these games, these teams, what you think is going to happen. Looking at both storylines, starting with the Washington Capitals, they are known for the playoff woes. They've won President's Trophies in the past. They've gotten big Pickups late in seasons like Shattenkirk. This is our year. We're going to do it. They can't get past the Penguins two years in a row. And they finally break through as the Penguins are clearly hurt and tired from so many playoff runs. They get past them. And then they get past Tampa Bay in a Game 7. You have Hopi coming off back-to-back -back shutouts. He's been playing on top of his game. You have Ovechkin. Scoring big time goals. Tom Wilson creating energy that this fan base and team has really benefited from and gotten that extra juice, gotten that extra pump from Tom Wilson. He's throwing big time hits. He's making plays. I mean, he's doing it all. Smith Pelly's making some plays. They were playing physical as hell against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Are they going to bring the same kind of attitude to the Vegas Golden Knights? John Carlson, Kuznetsov. Uh, TJ Oshi, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So that's the storyline out of Washington. Are they going to be able to actually get through the hump? Is this going to be the year that we see Alexander Ovechkin lift the Stanley Cup? We're going to talk about him, his legacy. How does this affect his performance. He knows he needs a Stanley Cup. He knows the guy he came in the league with, Sidney Crosby, already has a couple. It's in the back of his mind. This is for Alexander Ovechkin's legacy. Will he get it done? And then we have the other storyline. The Vegas Golden Knights. Mark andre Fleury. He slayed the Washington Capitals with the Penguins. Back to back. Kept doing it. Kept doing it. He's the kryptonite for the Washington Capitals. And now he's on the team they're playing. That That's a huge thing. On top of that, Vegas in general. The first year in this league. They get the expansion draft. They get all these players that nobody else essentially wanted, and they're in the Stanley Cup Finals. William Carlson having the year of his life. The year of his life. This team is just, just outstanding. You have this fan base that is really supporting this team. I, when I, If I had to pick, if you're giving me the pick, it's hard not to say Vegas, right? It just, you have that feel. I am going to go Vegas in six Vegas and six and I'm gonna say Mark Andre Fleury does a better job than Braden Holpe it's gonna come down to goaltending and I just feel like Mark Andre Fleury has a little bit more swagger than Holpe I think Holpe is due for some bad games that's just him that's how we've seen him this year he isn't an absolute stud this year we've seen ups and downs with him but we have Marc-Andre Fleury, he was the backbone of this squad. He's the reason why they're here, and he continues to play that way. Not that I don't think the Washington Capitals have that urge, and it, it, this could technically be their year, but I just... I think that Vegas has too much energy around them. I think they just want it that much more because they're an expansion team and they really have something to prove. They really do. They just have that little extra surge and, and it comes down to goaltending. And I just think Marc-Andre Fleury is going to slay the Washington Capitals once again. That's just my predictions. Now, it's not ridiculous to think it could go the other way either. I think both teams are very, very solid. But if I just had to guess, I'm going to go with the Vegas Golden Knights. I think it is going to happen. It's destiny. It's unbelievable. It's going to be an amazing thing for sports. Equivalent to what happened with Le Leicester City and the whole entire European soccer thing. Not that I'm a big soccer guy, but I mean, it's it's equivalent to that. It's going to happen. It's just, uh, you have that feel. You have that feel. You're going to have players like William Carlson step up. You have Smith. Alex Tuck? I mean, come on. A Minnesota Wild prospect? They're like, here, take him. Take him, please. So we can keep one of our other players. 
It's just it, it's a remarkable story. And the Washington Capitals have not been great at home. We've seen them lose games to Tampa Bay at home. A lot of them. I can't imagine Vegas losing at home. That energy is going to be rocking. It's going to be like nothing we've ever experienced. We thought Nashville was loud. We thought Nashville last season, their whole entire building was crazy. Just wait. Wait for this Vegas game on Monday and Tuesday. I I just can't imagine the Washington Capitals being able to take games in Vegas. I just can't. That place is going to be jumping. It's going to be literally the loudest building we've ever seen. They're going to put on an amazing show beforehand, which I don't really love, but they're going to do it anyway. The crowd is going to get fired up from it. And I just can't picture the Washington Capitals being able to take many games in Vegas. And Vegas has the home ice advantage. So that's going to play into a factor. And plus, Washington doesn't play fantastic at home. They're not a great home ice team. So that's what I think. I'm going Vegas in six. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.